Well, Fred Truman was a marvellous fast bowler, wonderful player for both Yorkshire and England, first Englishman to reach 300 wickets, and uh, I won't say that he actually hated batsmen, he just intensely disliked them. Truman to, Truman Harvey. to, uh, uh, to Harvey, and he's caught at cover point <laughs> by Dexter. Truman to O'Neill. O'Neill caught. Cowdery. Truman to Simpson. And he's clean bowled. He's clean bowled. Rather a desperate stroke, it looked to me. Truman to Benno. And he's clean bowled him. Benno bowled from North for the second time in the match by Truman. Truman now to Mackay. And he's caught behind the wicket. He's caught behind the wicket. And Truman has taken five wickets for no runs. In 1963, Fred took 34 West Indian wickets in the series, including 11 for 152 at Lords. His first victim was Easter McMorris, and now he bowls to Conrad Hunt. And he's caught, he's caught. He's caught off Cowdery by close. Basil Butcher was next to go, <laughs> caught by Barrington for 14. And now Rowan Canai takes strike. Truman coming in. Oh, beautifully caught. Beautifully caught by Edwards. Truman now to Frank Worrell, the West Indian captain. He's going to be caught by Cadre and he's caught it. Murray out, caught Cadre. West Indies had a first innings lead of four runs. Fred Truman bowls now to McMorris. And he's caught by Cadre. So West Indies are 15 for two. Truman to Sobers. Garfield Sobers. Comes in, caught at the wicket by Parks. People taking those positions behind the ball because the crowd is swelling every minute. Oh, he's caught him. Second attempt. Worrell is out, without adding to his overnight score. Caught by Stewart there at forward short leg of Freddie Truman. He's out, is he? Yes, caught by Parks. Murray is out for two, and the West Indies now have lost two wickets this morning and are 224 for seven. Here's Wes Hall now facing Truman. Oh, he's out, caught at the wicket. Well taken by Parks. The thrilling climax of the match meant that any of four results was possible off the last ball. The actual result was a draw. The Edgbaston test brought 12 more wickets for Fred, 5 for 75 in the first innings. And with the West Indies needing 309 to win, it's Conrad Hunt taking strike to Truman. And that's caught. He's out, caught by Barrington at second slip. 72 for four. Here's Kenai, one of the great stroke makers. Catch it. Caught by Lark. He's out, he's out. Yes, he's out. It off his hand, as you can see. Truman to Warrell, then. Oh, beautiful ball. Yes, he's out. Caught at the wicket. Caught by Parks. A, a very fine edge. Hurt! Out, caught. So, young Murray is caught by his opposite number, Parks. Oh, what a ball. Off stump, leaning back. And this is Freddie Truman's 10th wicket of the match. What a great bowler. There's someone who admires him, even though it's the other side. Truman to Griffith. Oh, what a good ball. And, he, and he, he's given him out. LBW. This will be Truman's 15th over. Six for 44 so far. And appeal for a catch of the wicket. He's out. Solomon is caught, Parks, Bill Truman. 
Truman has taken seven wickets for 44, and England have won this test match by 217 runs. In 1964, the Australians were again the opponents, and Fred was establishing more records. That's it, he's on! Well, what a great moment, and he's hugging Padre who caught the catch. 